Oh, crap. And you thought it couldn't get any worse. <laughs> right then. <clears throat> hey guys, welcome back to Whiteland Restorations. Um, escorts, they get rusty, don't they? Don't they, Mo? Very, They're very much rusty. So. so today we're going to start cutting and welding. We've already started cutting and welding. Um, this bit has mostly been repaired. Uh, I'll do a bit of up close footage now. Um, but today we're going to be hacking at this area because we have a lovely repair panel for that. And this area in here, battery tray. Now these are magnum panels. Yeah, magnum panels. And this actually really heavy duty panel, this one, it's um, really thick. We got them from West Wales Rally Spares. Very helpful, very friendly. This bit though, I, I had to make this bit. This bit is the lower inner piece that goes here. We had to fabricate that ourselves, which is no big deal. It's just a small panel. Um, I will say though, the sill is missing the bit that goes behind the wing, which is the whole point why we bought the sill in the first place. So this is gonna go back or sit on a shelf. Um, and we've ordered one off of eBay, which is, has this piece. I don't know what the quality is gonna be like, but we'll see. So I reckon, Mo, we mark up and get the grinder out. Get cutting. Yeah, let's chop it up. All right, so I'm gonna cut. Mo's got made a mark under here with some French chalk, just at the very edge of the radius. I think we're also gonna cut about a straight line there, 10 mil away from this lumpy bit, pressing, let's use technical terms, 10 mil down there, ish. And we'll extend that up all the way up to the top and then through there. That looks like a good cut, Mo. Considerable. Delicious, yummy, yummy rust and fiber fill. So weak and soft. A lot of this up here, all this damage up here was all stress cracks, stress fractures from the rest of it being so rotted out. Yeah. Well, we'll keep cutting at it and we'll get back to you with some more news. As Mojo is happily chopping up that escort, I'm going to be doing some under-sealing on this lovely little MG. Oh my God, that's amazing. Look at that. Hold on. 
<laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Man, that's that's where you hide your drugs. Yes. That's where you hide your drugs definitely. in there. All right, that's beautiful, mate. All right, one more cut and this whole thing's coming off. The table's strong enough. Don't worry about that. It's a hell of a table. Looks like the banking going around the corner. Oh, but then those ones are straight. Okay, fine. Right, side mission complete. Thank you. Right. Where so are we? Let's have a closer look. Let's have a closer look. Look at the state of that. <laughs> oh my god. Yikes. Um, oh, oh Jesus. Oh. You can see the crustiness between um, the layers. We've lost a bit of metal, haven't we? I had to cut so much away. Um, obviously. With this pit out the way, we had access to deal with that a lot easier. So yeah. that's why we've not put that back on. Also, we welded this piece on to brace it, to stop anything from moving, because obviously it's still got the motor right there. And also, we've put this under the front of the chassis leg before we Solid, out, yep. to make sure that didn't drop, and that also stays in place. So nothing has moved, but we will also whack the door back on and put the wing on and line everything up before anything welds in place permanently. As always, did you know what? Considering that it was only supposed to come in to have a little bit of repairs here, it yeah, hasn't half bit. spread. It was supposed to be that little patch yeah. there. Um, so we went from that to that. To that. <laughs> I mean, it looks like you're still chasing solid metal down there, honey. Yeah, no, I'm, um, we're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting What's there. this you got here? Um, Ta -da! Ta -da! <laughs> it's like magic. Um, this is this is the new piece of bulkhead we fabricate, and I'm just working out lumps and bumps going off of pictures off the internet and what's left. I mean, there's not a lot left to go by. To be so, honest, we don't have any of the Mark III shells here to copy. Nothing to copy or anything. Don't and get I know many loads Mark of people threes. would happily send us images after watching this, <gasps> but I'm doing this now. Stop right there. I need to say a huge thank you to everybody oh. who pointed out that we had the wrong battery tray. Yeah, we have already started, where is it? Where is it? Um, We've already started um, to rectify the problem. Yeah, there we go. That, that battery we tray has off. been removed. We have another battery tray coming um, to put on. At an angle. At whatever angle it needs yeah. to be on to make that. So very much, very thank you, very thank you. Very thank you. Very thank you for a couple of people who pointed that out. I am not a Ford expert. No. I just weld them up. <laughs> but we really appreciate comments like that. If you see anything, let us know in the comments. You know, we... we yeah, we... especially if we've got time to write, writeify it. <laughs> I tried to reply to nearly every comment. So here's the bit I've already repaired. Um, bit of metal the back sill, in there. This bit, all this bit. Most, some of the, a lot of this has been fabricated. A lot of the inside there has been fabricated. I have actually added a little bit more strength to it just to make sure it's okay. Yep. So it's not stock, but it's stronger. Is than that the stock. jacking point? Yeah, that's the jacking point. That's why. That's very that's forward, why. isn't it? Actually, you'd have thought the jacking point would line up with this. Yeah. But it's back here. Oh. Yeah. And none of this structure that comes down into there lines up with the jacking point location. Well, um, how weird. Which is weird, yeah. So I've, I've extended the strength part this kind of backwards a little, just to catch the jacking point. Um, You've improved on the original I've design is what you're saying. A bit. Um, and this piece was the, the, the eBay sill which came with this inner piece that wasn't quite perfect over here. The, the pressings were a little bit rough. A bit so we had a little bit of dressing and make it fit, but I'm quite happy with the way it's come out. Good, good, good. It looks well, like it's supposed to be like that. It is supposed to be like that. Well, that's handy. Good. What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave you to carry on because we have got time constraints on this job. This is why it's not a full resto. It is fixed, please.
Whew, that was a lot of fabrication. But we've ended up with a really nice piece of this bulkhead. Now, I don't know if this is gonna be 100% like it should be, but it's pretty damn close. I mean, considering what was left, I've managed, managed to um, sort of copy the shapes as best I can. There's an extra reinforcing plate that sort of sinks into the metal on the inside, um, which it also steps out to get the brake booster bar, I think, in situ. Um, this has all been fabricated, um, actually, uh, Mojo made this internal piece. What a good lad. He's made a few other little bits and pieces around the car and he's done an absolutely spot on job. It's time to get this clamped in and start welding it up. Start repairing this bulkhead. Finally, it's been a long, long old battle, but we've done a lot of fettling and this does clamping nicely. I'll just get it clamped up and show you what I mean. Right, the first tack of many. I'm gonna go about that. Success. watching on the anticipation. But do we need to pump the tyres up to get it on the trailer? Uh, definitely need to check the oil levels. Yep, definitely. Um, <laughs> what do you think? She's not too sure, she's not sure. Yeah, you have to hulk it on. <laughs> vroom vroom! Terrible idea. If only all car recovery was that easy. Lewis! Right. So we're getting on really well. You're back on the rebuild, basically. It's all going back together. It's all going back together. You have cut out all the rot. We've run out of time this week. <laughs> yeah. It's... This video has to be out tomorrow, tomorrow. and it is four o'clock. It is, hold on, it's not, it's, it's 25 past four So I've got to go Saturday. home now and crack on editing, get this video out the next day. Great. It's going to be fine. It's, it's going to be, be great. Fine. It's going to be great. Um, Lewis has had to fabricate quite a few bits. So has our new apprentice, Mojo. He is loving... He's on it. He's on it. He's loving escorts now. He's really good. He's um. I wish I had that wife. kind of talent when I was 17. He's so good, isn't he? Fair play. Fair yeah. play. Um, so next week we're going to be doing the bulkhead. The, 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 that bit, the upright bit of the that bulkhead bit. has been repaired. The wells need grinding down. I've run out of hard grinding discs, flat discs, belt sanding belts honestly and you cutting think, discs he thinks that i've oh, got on. psychic stock keeping abilities you've got to tell me when we're running I, low i don't understand where they'll go uh, i know where they go massive great old escorts there. massive great old uh we'll get some more stock on order luckily our suppliers ips in swansea amazing we yeah, get yeah. all of our stuff from there it's basically and um, they also do mail order so if you want anything that we're using Give them a ring, um, say, can I have this, this, and this? And they'll go, yeah, and they'll send it to you. They're really good. That's very good. They're very good. What a lovely service. <laughs> <laughs> oh, anyway, um, battery tray. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, this is the one that was pointed out to us that wasn't right. You've removed the We've battery removed tray. We've removed the battery tray, and I've flattened out the little lump. I've got to cut that off yet yeah. uh, and weld up the hole. But the battery tray is gone. A replacement battery tray, which will be put on it, funny angle, yeah. is winging its way to us. Um, Shortened Mark 1 battery tray, isn't it? Very similar. similar. I think I can make that work. But um, um, yeah, Also, that's... not long enough. 
not big extension enough. Extension pieces. So we've had to make extension pieces to go there and there. Oh, so is that where the heater box sits in? Yeah, right back. Yeah. Um, to extend that. Fun. I also need to extend all of this because that's not long enough. Well, not when you have to cut rot out, it is. But at least I don't have to make that. I mean, look at the state of that for me. That's making. a lot of um, knobbly bobblies. Right, so thank you once again for watching. Uh, we'll be back with you next. Hold on. What? I've got more to say. Oh. There's lots more to say. Have you? Yeah. To start with, whoever did the work on this, <laughs> just stop. <laughs> just stop it. Just don't. Just give up. <laughs> Retire. That's to, that's to start with. <laughs> <laughs> if, you, if you recognise your own handiwork, yeah. you can stop, give us a call stop it. and we can tell you off. Um, secondly, um, I've been extra busy whilst I'm sitting down having a cup of tea. Yeah. I don't sit down, I, I design things on the computer. So Look I've made that. a fridge slash toolbox. Toolbox. <laughs> toolbox. That's tool the guy who did tool, the repairs yeah, on tool this. Bodge. How cool is uh, that? Magnet. That is an RS 1600i fridge magnet exclusively available from whitelandrestorations.com. Yeah, if you fancy one of them, pop yeah. along to the See, store. It's got neodymium and, magnet on the back. Um, Neo neodymium. That's a funny neodymium. word, isn't it? That's because it's a small Hold on. And it ha this one has actually been stuck to a proper escort. That's the one that's stuck to this one. Fantastic. Yeah, so if you buy one, it's got a bit of swarf stuck to it. That's the one that's... <laughs> the <laughs> Will you be lucky? <laughs> Will you get the swarfy one? Oh, God, I hope not. But no, thank you very much for watching, guys. We really appreciate it. Don't really forget do. to hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell. You'll get notifications of when we're popping videos up. At minimum once a week, we're trying, aren't we? We're oh, doing yeah, well. Yeah, doing we're pushing well. once a week. Tune in next week. <sighs> yes. um, we will endeavour to have this thing finished. Now we've got to the bottom of the really bad stuff and we're starting to rebuild. Um, this bigger area will require a door and wing pre-fit up just mm -hmm. to make sure nothing has moved. As you can see here, it's supported there and there and braced there. So it's we're fairly all good. well good. Yeah, we're all good. But there's nothing like making sure staff lines up, is there? It, prevention is better than cure. What was that, five Ps? Perfect preparation prevents pitiful performance. That's the one. That's the family friendly version. That's the one, yeah. Right then. Come on, you. We've got to get going. Yeah. This video's not going to edit itself. It isn't. Right. Ciao. Ciao.